Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about poverty, which is fourth chapter of Indian Economics Class Twelfth. Poverty has many dimensions. It has to look at through varieties of indicators. Means poverty is a vast concept. We cannot say a person is poor or in poverty based on a single thing. Therefore. different indicators need to be given importance these are level of income consumption social indicators indicators of vulnerability to risk we'll learn about all these points in detail as we go further with the chapter now let's start with understanding who are poor poor people are those who cannot afford two meals a day they possess few assets reside in kachcha houses mostly landless and they do not have basic literacy or skills when they fall ill or seriously sick they borrow money from lenders who provide them loan at high interest rate automatically they fall into debt trap These people have no access of safe drinking water and electricity. Malnutrition is very common phenomena in poor people. They normally cook food using cooking fuel like firewood and cow dung. Because literacy rate is low, sometimes poor people are exploited by their employers and given low wage for their work. Gender inequality is also a huge issue with poor communities like women usually do not get equal opportunities as compared to men Can we think few examples of poor people with above mentioned indicator Well I can think of few like beggars poor people selling good in traffic signals and junk collectors always remember poor people are divided into two areas a rural areas where poor people are identified on the basis of occupation and ownership of assets b urban areas poor people in urban areas are mostly migrants from rural areas who have migrated in urban areas for job and better standard of living now let's look at categories of poor people they are divided into three categories first chronic poor it is divided into two sub categories a always poor b usually poor example casual workers landless workers second transient poor they again have two sub categories a chronic poor they regularly move in and out of poverty example small farmers and seasonal workers b occasionally poor they are rich most of the time but may sometime have a bad luck example small scale enterprises when they face tough times they can fall under occasionally poor category now the third one never poor now as the category name suggests these are the people who are above poverty line example lawyers doctors engineers government employees etc now as we have learned about who are poor people let's look at the definition of poverty which can be asked for one marks question definition poverty means a situation where a person is not able to fulfill his or her basic needs of food clothing and shelter as well as necessities of life like sanitation health and education poverty is divided into two types a relative poverty poverty of people in comparison to other people reason of nation example when we compare two states like maharashtra and west bengal and number of poor in these two states b 
absolute poor it refers to the total number of people living below poverty line now let's understand how to determine poverty line till 2009 poverty line was determined on the basis of minimum calorie intake it was decided for rural areas 2400 calorie intake per day and for urban areas it is 2100 calorie intake per day since people living in rural areas engage themselves in more physical work calorie requirement in rural areas are considered to be higher than urban areas but this poverty line based on calorie intake had its own demerits as it do not specify calorie intake based on age sex as well as it did not consider basic requirement of poor like housing clothing education health and sanitation therefore in 2009 tendulkar committee and in 2014 c rangarajan committee bought a new concept of poverty line on the basis of monetary value under monetary value in rural areas per capita expenditure was decided at rupees 816 per month and for urban areas it is rupees 1000 per month living expenses in rural areas are less as compared to urban areas therefore monetary value in rural areas is less than urban areas causes of poverty low capital formation low production capacity of a country leads to low capital formation hence poverty increases lack of infrastructure there are two types of infrastructure economic and social economic infrastructure refers to element of economic change example power transport communication etc social infrastructure include core element of social change example school colleges hospitals lack of demand heavy pressure on population heavy pressure of population leads to unemployment and unemployment promotes poverty most of the time welfare program initiated by government doesn't reach to really needy people next is inflation as we know inflation leads to increase in price of goods and services which makes it even harder for poor people to afford basic needs next point is self explanatory as we know low rate of economic development means slow growth rate of per capita income over too long period which doesn't help in improving of, of poverty situation next is low education lack of education and skills are one of the main reason of poverty and market always prefer skill labors for efficient and optimal use of resources all these means poor people are not getting job and at the end there are some social factors like caste system discrimination social exclusion and unequal distribution of wealth which doesn't allow these poor people to come out of poverty measures to remove poverty as the economy grow more employment and income opportunities are initiated and more people employed means reduce in poverty fiscal policy is one of the measure can be used by government in this they can quote higher tax from rich people and money collected can be used for free education hospital food for really needy people population control less population means less mouth to feed more population means more mouth to feed 
Therefore, less population help a country to solve problem easily. Increasing quality of life of people by initiating policies which will help poor people to improve their standard of living. Poverty alleviation program, which are also known as PAP. First one, PMRY, that is Prime Minister Rojgar Yojana. It was launched on 15th August 1993. Aims at creating self-employment in rural and small town for educated unemployed. And how the government is helping them? Government is helping them by providing financial assistance in the form of bank loans so that they can open micro enterprises. Second, Swan Jayanti Shehri Rojgar Yojana launched on December 1997 again for self employment but in urban areas for unemployed and underemployed poor by encouraging self employment ventures or provision of wage employment. It is based on cost sharing between central and state at a ratio 75 raised to 25. Third, Swarn Jayanti Gram Sorojgar Yojana launched on 1st April 1999 against self-employment program by organizing SSG that is self-help group. SSG It is an informal committee of 15 to 25 local men and women who pool their savings together. Saving per member varies from rupees 25 to rupees 100 depending on the saver's ability. Members can take loan from groups saving on decided rate of interest. After a year or two, if group is regular in saving, the group become eligible for small loans from bank. Loan is sanctioned in the name of group. The positive point of this group is they don't have to pay collateral. Interest rate is very less and they do not fall into debt trap. It comes under microfinancing or credit program. Pay attention on these two points because it is there in 6th chapter. Fourth, Sampoon Grameen Rojgar Yojana launched on September 2001 aim at providing wage employment in rural areas and food security. It is again based on sharing basis that is on the ratio 87.5 raised to 12.5. Fifth, Narega that is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005. It is an act passed on 5th September 2005 and launched on 2006. It was passed under labor law and implemented across 200 districts in 2006. This program provides an adult who registered for rural employment a minimum job guarantee of 100 days each financial year. It includes non-skilled works. It was later renamed as Manrega, that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. In case such employment is not provided within 15 days of registration, the applicant are provided unemployment allowance. Sixth, Pradhan Mantri Gramadhyay Yojana. It was launched on 2000-2001. Main objective of focusing on the village level. Development includes health, sanitation, water facilities, etc. Next, National Social Assistance Program, which was launched on 15th August 1995. Under this program, elderly people who do not have anyone to take care of them are given pensions under national old age pension schemes and poor women, widows, 
and poor people are covered under national maternity benefit scheme and national family benefit schemes the last one there are programs which is also aiming at improving food nutrition and status of people and it includes pds that is public distribution system integrated child and midday meal it also includes pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana valmiki ambedkar avas yojana now we have completed four chapter of indian economics that is poverty if you have any doubts and question related to this chapter feel free to write in the comment section below thank you